Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Come on in, babies. This is going to be a general read. If you're new here, babies, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. When I say he, she, I'm thinking of masculine or feminine energy. Either could be man or woman, okay, baby? So please don't get caught up in that. And if I'm saying he and you know your person is a she, just flip it. Okay? We're going to jump into this and see what Mr. Spirit has for you guys today. What does my collective need to know right now for the greatest and highest good? And we're going to get deep because we in the, uh, why mama and them in my business, mama and them accusations, conversations, and decisions. And the streets are talking oracles. So we're going to see what's going on, y'all. Let's get deep. What is going on that you need to know? And then the mother, father, the son, and the Holy Spirit for my collective. First card out here. Family. Somebody want to come in and have a family with you? You may be dealing with some type of family situation at this time. Somebody may have recently given birth to a baby. Somebody might have found out that they're pregnant, that they're about to have a family. What's going on with this family spirit? Somebody may be dealing with some type of family issues. Something that somebody's defensive. So somebody can be guarded against their family, guarded towards their family. You can have your guard up towards somebody who wants to be a family with you. You can be guarded here. Tell me more spirit. What's going on? There's somebody that's jealous. Okay. There is somebody jealous trying to block a family connection. Yep, because you are the Empress boss bitch here. Okay, honey, so there is a, a energy out here. could be a feminine energy out here that is jealous of the connection that you have here. You could be about to start a family with somebody. You could be dating somebody. You could be dealing with someone here. So the karmic's coming out here. Divine master that wants to come towards you, build a family with you, divine fam. Okay? This karmic is trying to block this connection. Karmic could be a family member. Could be a baby's mother or a baby's father. A mother or a father. An auntie, a cousin. But they're trying to block this connection with you and your person. Because they're jealous of the fact that you was an emperor's boss bitch around here. Man or a woman. Emperor or empress. Okay? You and this person may have a long distance relationship. There may be distance between the two of you guys. Clarify family here. What's going on? So you may be at a distance from your person. Even if you stay in the same town, there could be a distance. You may not be talking, may not be able to get to each other. That's it from this deck. Whoever this is, they're talking shit about what you do for work. Okay, they may not like what you do for work. It says work gossip. We know why you're getting special privileges, bitch. So this person could be talking shit about you because they're jealous. They could be making up shit about you. Saying you get special privileges because of this, that. Yeah, I'll tell you, make it up. Fake offers. Fake news. Somebody is lying on you because they, they're jealous of you and this connection that you and your person have. So they're coming out with some type of fake news. Girl, I promise you I saw him and we know why you get special privileges, bitch. Yeah, this is somebody lying. To, to your person to block this connection because they're jealous. They see you divine fam here. And whoever this person is, they need a fucking job. Or, or if they don't need a job, whatever job they have, they don't make a lot of money here. Yeah, this person is codependent upon your person. Not enough give and take in the relationship. So whoever this person is is trying to block this connection between you and your person. They're coming up with fake news and lying on you because they see you as this boss bitch this empress person here okay Chris, so tell me more what's going on here let's look, get a little bit deeper in the name of the mother the father the son and the holy spirit and we do need it to jump that's why family spirit what's going on here with the family yeah see they're trying to block this. So this could be family members, a mother or father. Like I said, a baby's mother, a baby's father. That's trying to block this connection between you and your person. Yeah, because they see your person as a good man or a good woman. So 
So they're lying. Oh my God. So this, this karmic energy here is lying on you, divine sim, to this divine masculine, making up shit, trying to block this connection because this divine masculine is a good man or a good woman. But this divine masculine knows that every part of you touch their soul. So whatever's being said, it's not stopping it. This karmic could know that this divine masculine feels this way about divine femme as well. They could have lied and said that they were a cheater. Tell me more spirit. What's going on here? Yeah, I love us, but I will protect my family at all costs. So whoever this is that's trying to block this connection, like I said, it could be a baby's mother or a baby's father. This could even be an ex, okay, that is trying to protect the connection between, this is the, this karmic trying to protect, protect the connection between them and divine masculine. But divine masculine is headed back to divine femme. This could be a mother. Trying to stop this connection between this divine masculine and this divine femme. Because this mother knows that this divine masculine is headed to this divine femme. Yeah, Spirit says there's some housewives of Atlanta shit right here. Yeah, this could be, like I said, this could be a baby's mother or a baby's father. Side chick, you can have them through the week. I'll take over on the weekend. Yeah, this is this is this is some third party, this karmic ass energy that don't want to go nowhere. Now this bitch is willing to share, <laughs> but divine film ain't sharing shit. And this divine masculine knows that. That's why he's walking away from this karmic ass energy. And this is why this karmic is doing their best to try to block and stop this connection from coming together. Family, mama, family, mama, daddy, sister, brother, uncle. Yeah. But divine masculine knows that you make him happy or you make her happy. And they're coming towards you, divine film, no matter what. Yep. And whoever this is, is baby mama, baby daddy. They trying to throw the drama in the middle to stop this joy. Because they know, they know divine masculine is going to be happy with this empress boss bitch here. Yep. They're trying to stop this spiritual connection. This is a karmic, spiritual connection was in reverse. Yep. Karmic ass energy for sure. I just did a karmic read. I didn't know this was going to be another karmic read. The karmic must be upset right now. The karmic is upset. Okay? Because their energy is coming through strong here. I was trying to do a divine film read. But I guess it's a divine film read if, if you, you know, look at it from the point that this karmic is trying to stop your connection with your divine masculine divine film. Because they're jealous. Whoever this MK family is, baby mama, baby father, actual mama, daddy, okay? Anything else that my collector needs to know when it comes to this situation here on the table? I do need it to jump. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, so whoever this karmic is, they may have some type of criminal background here, but they betrayed, they betrayed Divine Master. And now, uh, uh, they're feeling, oh, thank you, Spirit. They're feeling betrayed. They can feel like you stole, okay. they feel like you stole their man, or you stole their woman, and now they're feeling, feeling betrayed. Now they want to fight. But it's jealousy. You had nothing to do with this. You ain't steal nothing. And they're mad because you out here being your own boss, doing your own shit. divine film whether you work for yourself or you work with somebody you doing your shit there is a family member out here that is telling this divine masculine you are stronger than you know and i got your back so there is a family member that is on this divine masculine side when it comes to coming towards this empress here okay um and telling them you know not to deal with this karmic anymore to move forward and they got their back and they're gonna help them you know do it help them with whatever they may need Yeah, because this karmic ass was trying to trap them. They were trying to trap them. This karmic was really trying to trap this person. And this, part, this divine master keeps thinking about the past. That was too many, y'all. I just wanted to see what it was. It was fear, escapism, 
and something else. So this person is smoking, drinking, trying to escape, afraid they finna lose this masculine. But the masculine's already gone. Ain't afraid. They've already lost this masculine. Masculine is done. Yep, the third party for sure. It's karmic ass energy. The karmic is mad. But this shit is over. Done. Yeah, this third party is, is watching social media, trying to hack on social media. It was a one-sided relationship. Yep. And and the, your divine masculine is headed over to you. New man or a new woman, okay? Because they're tired of this one-sided shit with this third party situation. Karmic ass relationship. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. They done with that shit. And they're headed towards you, Divine Femme, for a domestic relationship. Something that's going to work. Something that's going to last. Yep, they're coming to give you the support they should have gave you in the past, Divine Femme. Yep, because they're remembering the past. I can't make that shit up. Support and remember the past came out. They're coming to give you what they should have gave you in the past. The support, the love. Yep, and they have put an end to this third party karmic relationship. And the karmic is mad. That shit is over. No matter what this karmic say, no matter what this karmic do, no matter what come out this karmic mouth, this divine masculine is done. End of relationship. That shit is over. This karmic may have some type of addiction. They crying. Okay? The child was outside the relationship or the marriage. Divine masculine's not dealing with this shit no more. This bitch got addictions. It ain't his kids. Yeah, this, this, yeah, Divine Master is out here partying and celebrating. He's done with the side chick or side dude drama. Yeah, they no longer talk and communicate. And they let that shit go. They don't even trust that motherfucker. They have put their guard up. Because this motherfucker just wanted money. They were just after the money. The karmic just wanted the money. The karmic thought they was going to leave this Divine Master and broke. Divine Master got ghosts. No. And they're headed towards the one that they, they heart really belongs to. The spotlight is on the Divine Film. And that's where they're going. Next one. Yeah. They're no longer stressing. They're getting their health together. They're getting their self together. This motherfucking karmic is stressing. And now they might be even trying to work on their body. Because <laughs> they think that that's going to get this person back. Yeah, this karmic is feeling fucked up. Lost. Because Divine Medicine is gone. Out of there. Out of there. I didn't know this was going to be the next read. I didn't think we were having two karmic reads today. But Divine Femme. This karmic tried everything they could. To stop and block your connection with your divine masculine. All because they were jealous. This baby's mother, baby's father tried to trap this person because your person is a good man or a good woman. This karmic is now feeling betrayed. Okay? They want to fight. They want to reach out. They want to start some bullshit. Okay? So just be mindful if you receive a phone call, if you get a text message, them, don't bite divine fam. Don't even fall for the bullshit. They just come in and try to start and keep up some trouble here. Because your divine master is headed to you. And they're coming to have a brand new connection. They're coming to, and they're coming in as a whole new man or a whole new woman. They're not coming the same way they left you. Because with you they know it's their happiness. They're coming to give you the support. They're coming to give you the relationship that they should have gave you in the past. They're in it to win it or lose it. They know you are part of their soul family. They know you're part of the soul tribe. And this karmic isn't. Name of the mother, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Final pull when it comes for this karmic ass read here. What's going on? What else do my collector need to know when it comes to this? Yeah, this karmic got money issues, y'all. And they tried to use this baby or some children to keep your person from coming towards you. I don't have enough lost income. She, he gives me money to stay. Finances is what's holding me back. And children just that distractions. I don't have time. I have my kid or kids. Daddy or mommy spend more time with me, not him or her. I'm your priority now. Yeah, this person tried to come in and throw the children in here. They could have said they were pregnant. We did see that card that said not their child. They could have tried to blame a child on this person to get money out of them. But they did it all to stop this divine union between you and your person because you guys are soulmates. Divine soulmate union. We come together for a purpose, and, and you guys recognize that. And this karmic knows that. This karmic knows you guys have a divine soulmate connection. Yeah. And they know that this, this masculine has a lot of passion for you, divine fam. I'm about to explode. You're all I want. Why do I feel this way? Mas masculine energy, logical, dominating, analytical focus. I love the familiar. This divine masculine is going where his passion is. 
But this this karmic was trying to keep the shit on the low. But this divine masculine has been spiritually awakened. Okay, spiritual animals and insects. I'm here to give you a message. Pay attention. I'm not just colors or something to see. Google my spiritual meaning. I cry for you, King and Queen of Cups. I'm in my feelings. This divine masculine is in their feelings about this divine fan. They have been awakened to the connection to this soulmate connection. And the passion that they feel for this divine fan. And they're headed that way. Divine fan being man or woman. Just energy. The energy of receiving. Yeah, and they're going to get this fucking relationship with this divine fan. Sacral chakra, relationships, intimacy, control, pleasure, desires. I express my sexuality. Yeah, they have, look, they make it up. Divine Master has opened their heart chakra. Love, affection, compassion, unity, emotions. I am worthy of love. They now know they're worthy of love. And they know where they can go find that love at. And they're going to get it from this divine feminine. Because they love this divine feminine. I fail for you. Unconditional love, strong attraction, and affection. Please love me back. Divine Master is going for their divine fan. And they're releasing these sexual demons. The succubus, incubus, Jezebel. I slept with the wrong spirit. They know they slept with the wrong spirit. And this wrong spirit gave them a lot of self-doubt. Caused them to self-sabotage, denial, fear I'm not good enough or you're not for me. This is what this karmic did to this divine master. But he's no longer in this energy. He has cleansed himself. Okay? He has been cleansed of this negative ass demonic energy that was put on him by this karmic ass energy. Cleanse Get your sage on, cleanse your sacred space, car, house, crystals, body, sage it down. And now since this divine masculine has been released of the motherfucking magic, this divine masculine is headed directly straight forward to his divine fan. The magic spell has been broke. They have been cleansed. And now this karmic is chasing behind this divine masculine. But Divine Master knows this bitch or man is a motherfucking backstabber. Whole smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place. And this karmic is now chasing him. But Divine Master got receipts. Okay? Divine Master knows the truth. Divine Master is not fucking with this karmic ass energy anymore. And not only do they know the truth about this, this karmic, but they know the truth about the Divine Femme as well. They have been enlightened. They have been awakened. They know that this karmic was a motherfucking... Um, sheep and wolves clothing. I prepared a temple before me in the presence of my enemy. Wolves and sheep clothing. They realized they were sleeping with the fucking enemy. Now they want to come towards you, Divine Finn. And they want to talk to you. They want to tell you what happened. They want to tell you how this karmic used sex magic towards you. You sex on them. Okay, the hammer, intimacy, sex, hooking up, wang wang, magic stick, throw baby, wop. Black Widow, a karmic person from the past life that is hidden by the veil. Family and karmic soulmates, blood contracts, hard to break the cords. Yeah, they want to come talk to you about it. They want to come tell you about how they were sleeping with the motherfucking enemy now. They know time is running out when it comes to you guys, Divine Master and Divine Femme. And they want to marry you. They have now been enlightened. They know they have chose themselves. Okay? They have been loving on themselves, healing themselves. And now they're ready to come in and love and heal on you. Okay? They realize now that the karmics, it was all about the money with them. Karmic family and friends, it was just about the money with them. They were greed, possessive, assets, fame, codependent upon this divine masculine. They didn't have good intentions. It was hidden by the veils of labels, trauma, pain, limited beliefs. And now the mask had fell off and this, this divine masculine has blocked these motherfuckers. And they're ready to come in and, and they're releasing this motherfucking karmic that they took a gamble with. And they're ready to come in and come towards this divine fan. Now the karmic is sitting back watching, okay, watching, low-key, trying to stay in the cut and shit because they want to come in and tell you some fucking hidden information. But like I said, whatever this divine, I mean, whatever this karmic comes in to tell you, they're coming in to tell you to block your connection with your divine masculine. They want, they want the relationship to be over between you and your divine masculine. So when this karmic comes in with this bullshit, when they come in and tell you some, some shit, they're going to tell you like some hidden information. Okay, don't fall for it, babies. It's fake. Okay, they're only coming in to try to end your connection with this divine masculine. To stop it from coming about because they know this divine masculine is coming in to give you the all, the, the ring, the marriage, the whole nine. 
So don't fall for it. Because this relationship between the karmic and the divine masculine, that shit is over. Yeah. They're trying to come in and destroy your foundation here. With your divine master. Spirit says don't. Divine master is trying to come in to build a foundation with you. And they want to apologize for how they treated you. What they put you through. But they had to go through that karma. And they're going to tell you about the magic that they had on them. Spells, voodoo, hex, vex, black magic. A sacrifice to stop the union. I'm here to destroy you. He, she thinks you the witch, not me. Yeah, this karma was doing magic and blaming it on you, divine fam. But divine master knows the truth. Like I said, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Look, twin ray union. I can't make it up. Whole vibe. I can't make it up. Divine master said they coming towards you, divine fam. Okay? In it to win it or lose it. They contract say so. Okay, they know you're the superhero. They're leaving the villain alone. They can't stop thinking about you. They're missing you, reviewing the past, looking at old photos and videos. Spirit says, I am bringing the tea about this motherfucking karmic. The juice, spilling the beans, hidden truth, gossip, leaked information. Your person has now found the truth out about this karmic. The beans have been spilled. They have been awakened. Spiritual ascension, awakening of the mind, DNA activation, phoenix rising, getting out the matrix about this divine feminine energy. Patient, nurturing, intuitive, gentle. I am expression. This is a twin ray union for most of you guys. Soulmate, twin ray, twin flame. High level though, okay? The rescuer, I sacrifice myself for you. They're coming for you because, baby, it's a whole fucking vibe. You are a whole motherfucking vibe, okay? Energy does not lie. Vibe check. Chemistry is electrifying when it comes to you and this divine masculine. Divine fan. And they're coming for you. And this karmic is... Man, losing their fucking mind. Can't do shit but sit back and stalk. Watch, look, and inspect your gadget, trying to see what y'all got going on. And your person is coming in. They have built up their confidence. They coming in the party, celebrate, because you they soul family, and they try. They know it. No ifs, ands, or doubts about it. Spirit said, I can't make this shit up. Signs, messages, unknown forces, synchronicities. My cards don't lie. Divine Master is headed your way, because some of you guys, this is your life partner. Romantic or close friend, give each other a boost. Okay? So this this resonated with you, let me know. I'm not trying to make it be this long. Um, that that the alarm outside, that's confirmation. They coming, babies, okay? <laughs> if it resonated, let me know, honeys, down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until next time, my love, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Bye, my TT babies.